Now, Sean, for you, this isn't just an academic debate. This is something quite personal to you. Would you mind telling us a bit of your story? Well, I had my own personal experience. My mother was terminally ill. She chose to have control of her death by going on a hunger strike. And if you stop eating, there's only one possible outcome, and that is that you die. Now, she's a medical doctor, and she chose the option of a hunger strike. That in itself indicates the difficulty of how you die. She wasn't prepared to risk taking an overdose of medication. So by going on a hunger strike, she was doing it on her own. She was having no assistance from anybody. She was not the type of woman to ask anyone to help her to die, especially her son. Anyway, she thought she would die quickly, but in fact the days went by and the weeks went by. And after five weeks of only drinking a glass of water each day, she was unable to move her arms or her legs. And essentially, her body was decomposing. If I touched it, she bruised. It was a dreadful state. In fact, she was having the ghastly death she went on a hunger strike to avoid having from the cancer. And at that point, she asked me to help her die by taking an overdose. She couldn't take it on her own. It may seem like a very difficult decision to make, and at the time it was very difficult, but when I applied my mind to it, I realised there was no decision. It was what my mother wanted, and that is the bottom line. She wanted to die. She didn't know what would happen if she kept living. It could go on for weeks, rotting in her own bed, and my mother is not the only person like this in the world. But there were legal repercussions <coughs> for you. You spent five months under yes. house arrest mm. in New Zealand. Mm. I was arrested and, and charged with attempted murder. Technically, to help someone to die is illegal, and I broke the law. But of course, it was an act of mercy, an act of compassion. The trial was a jury trial, and halfway through the trial, I was offered a charge of assisted suicide. I accepted that charge, and um, I pleaded guilty, and I was sentenced to five months house arrest. House arrest in New Zealand, we, we don't have it in South Africa, they put an ankle bracelet on you, it's fixed there, and if you leave the premises, it sets off an alarm at the uh, police station. 